Hey, welcome back. It's part two. I'm going to do the blue sketches for Ashley. All right, we go here. We just lightened up our sketch layer. A lot of stuff we got to fix, but I like the stuff I did with the head. I'm going back over it with blue here around the face. I'm finding my shapes again. A lot of sketch marks just to see my mind. What could be? Maybe she could have a plumper face. Nah, I don't know. I'm changing it around, moving her mouth around, trying to find where the line is in the face. Oh, I'm going through with the hair here, back and forth, checking it because mouth doesn't feel right. Don't know what's going on with that, but I'll come back. I like jumping around, doing stuff. Oh, this, I feel like drawing hair, that's fun. Oh, I feel like drawing a hat, that's fun. I like draw, jumping around. <sighs> jumping around here. I wanted to do that retro stuff kind of angular style on her um, ponytail. I thought that maybe um, I could use it for some story ideas later on in the cartoon um, <laughs> when she takes her hat off. So um, here we go again. We're going back over the legs and now I'm paying a little more attention to anatomy now. I don't know what I was doing with the knee on the straight straight leg it's completely in the wrong spot but i'm gonna go and fix that obviously later i'm finding all right the thing that made it balance once i start seeing it in blue i can kind of get the other crazy lines out of my head and start seeing maybe my perspective i didn't really establish something really well here so um i just know that i'm using the same perspectives for all the characters on this on the line so that's why i'm keeping them <clears throat> like this i'm noticing that uh, with this particular pose it's hard for me to get that foot where i need it so i'm just kind of once again i'm just kind of trying to play with where does that perspective line up i'm obviously in it i'm just now i have to be in it and i have to fix this pose that's where i'm at because that foot still doesn't work and uh even though it, it kind of works, her balance isn't right, and she's not doing the thing where she jets her chest out and she's being sexy at this moment. So I have to fix it. And uh, I'm going back over head stuff. I'm kind of getting frustrated because I don't want to fix the body <laughs> at this point. Um, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, well, what is up here? And then I'm looking at the mouth, and then I'm like, all right, let me let me do some stuff I know how to do. All right. That's good. I'm finding new eyes, new nose, kind of a, kind of a nose job. You know, let's let's give hints of, about who she might be under that hat. So let's, uh, you know, we give her the Jesus chain because, you know, got to rep. And uh, here she is. I'm trying to find these eyebrows. Now, this is where I kind of thought, mm, what am I going to do with this? I'm going around and around. These eyebrows, uh, maybe they could be like that. I always start trying to draw eyebrows like my own. I think it's an unfortunate thing. I look at my own eyebrows like I always draw. I'm kind of arched the way my naturally fall. Now I'm drawing this apron because I'm basically giving up on the body shape. And I'm one to... I know that there's balance somewhere, but the, the, the part that's not balanced is lower. So... I'm, I'm, I know that maybe if I throw the apron on her and I block out the information of the lines, I can see through the shape to the balance. And uh, I think ultimately I did do that. So um, I'm going through it again. Um, getting rid of anything I see that is kind of not the shape. So I'm going back and forth from just the blue line. If I can get rid of the information, maybe I can see the shape. Just if I, I'm just fighting to see it, fighting to find it. Now I have to draw this hand, not too hard, but um, the way that it's sitting on her hip is, is difficult because now I'm still struggling with getting this pose correct. The thing that I didn't fix in the sketch is now becoming the ultimate time suck of this drawing and uh, everything else is fun, and then I have to figure out why her legs ain't working. And uh, you know, so I go back over the hair a little bit more, and I, I like what I did there. Uh, um, I, I'm so worried about this body 
that I don't see that she looks like Mars attacks. Um, I will fix that later. And uh, I gave her a nose ring, which I ultimately, maybe she could put it in later. The cheekbones on these characters, unfortunately, make them look a little drugged out. And it's going to, um, it's going to compare, unfortunately, weirdly to the actual junkies who hang around this place. So once I start drawing all the uh, the crackheads, it's going to be lots of cheek lines. They're going to look more like Frank, <laughs> Frank's character. But, um, yeah, I still am not getting these perspectives right, and it's bothering me. I can't move on from this stage unless I fix this. And I know that. And so here I am. I'm stuck on this for an hour. Um, I'm going back and forth. But I like figuring stuff out. Things that I didn't do in my traditional training very well. Um... that now I have to problem solve for, but it's okay. Um, I think ultimately you, you just get better. You take two, three hours to do it and you get better. Next time, you know something or, you know, or you don't, but maybe me making these videos, I can watch them back and be like, oh yeah. So this is pretty cool technology because you never really get to just watch yourself draw. So here I am going back over this. I'm finding something with the shoe. I really do like this process of using the blue lines to exact the information. It feels like the blueprint of the structure. First, I kind of get the creative thing out, the rambling. And then I try to find the actual structure of it all in the blueprint. And it makes it feel a little, little bit more technical because I'm uh, traditionally trained as um, uh, realism. And I like the technical aspect of drawing. And when I started drawing cartoons, I realized that, uh, you know, a lot of it is just creativity. And a lot of the technical stuff kind of just, you know, just flies out of there. And some of the best cartoons you, you love have no technical thing to them. Maybe some perspective stuff, but whatever it looks most appealing, they're going to go for it, you know. And so... I'm trying to make it feel good and not think so much on the construction of everything so precisely. That's why I'm keeping super loose lines. The perspective is somewhere, you know. If it looks good to my eye, flip it back and forth and it looks good. That's what I'm going for here. When I'm going for more realism, I can do that. Cartoons is something new for me. So this is what I'm doing now. Fixing the fixing the face, going back to the body. I found something with the body that I said, hey, I think these shoes are in perspective. I raised that knee a bit. I still got a fixed uh, straight leg knee to fix this perspective, but for the most part, that's the reason why I wasn't feeling super balanced because whose knee is way down there. Um, but I'm like, yeah, let me go to the face. So now I'm at the face, I'm finding, hey, you need to make this mouth bigger. I like these lips, they're kind of sexy. Maybe she's cheesing at Brad at this point. Um, I don't know what, I'm, I'm playing with the Waffle House shirt, and I mean, <coughs> Waffle Home, <clears throat> shit, my bad. And, um, and uh, and I'm like, maybe she has uh, longer sleeves. And I'm like, nah. Nah, she's going to have short sleeves like, like Frank. Make them real sexy. It kind of looks like a samurai thing. And then, uh, I don't know, that was cool. I was like, I, I'll keep that. And uh, kept going around. I'm like, all right, I'm going to fix this hand once and for all. And I said, maybe I can make it more dynamic of a hand pose. And she's doing that with her hand. And that at first wasn't looking too bad. But then I realized, oh, no. I think her back needs to arch even more to make this pose work. And I had a really cool shirt fold there that I think looks sexy. But I, but I can show it when I do this, redo this pose um, without the, we do her without the posing. 
and just a character sheet for um, animation for her. But I started to see a different pose with the hand. And then I said, well, maybe if I move the hand up to hide the arch of her back, that you won't see the line. And this pose would almost fix itself. So that's what I ultimately did. It's not yet, but I'm starting to see it. Ooh, that that's what needs to happen. I'm looking at her wrist. Gosh, she has these long wrists. She has alien-like wrists. And I'm, I gotta fix that. Looks bad. Still, I'm like, man, this is ugh and a mug. I gotta, what I gotta do? What do I have to do? And I'm like, yeah, there it is. I saw my line. I'm starting to realize that, 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 and that. I'm like, okay, cool. But none of this is gonna work. Ultimately, I, I start to see that this pose now that I got the other uh, breast in there and I could see that this pose needs to um, but she's not her back isn't arched enough or she, um, or she's you know kind of thick so I need to go ahead and fix this but for right now I'm like eh, it doesn't look too bad it's balanced right now. I see where the hand goes right now. This is the solution I came up with. Uh, and it didn't look too bad. And I said, hey, I'm going I'm to call it a day for the blue. And I think anything else that really needs to be fixed in this, you can fix it in the next portion when I ink it. All right, guys, stay tuned. Oh, guys, this has been fun, actually. Hey, if you want to check out some more of my drawings, I'm going to be drawing over on Twitch, you know, all quarantine. This is where I've been doing these drawings at, and some of the longer form videos of this stuff is over there, too. So go ahead and check it out. See you guys.